Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss about subcontracting in order for the manufacturing. So some businesses subcontract the production of some finished products through subcontractors. So this can be easily managed through Odo. So when you open manufacturing and when you go to configuration settings, you can find an option in order to enable this feature. So you can see subcontracting option here in order to subcontract the production of some products. And if you want to know about the subcontracting, you can just click on this. So this is a documentation that provides information about um, functioning of subcontracting. Okay. So uh, in after enabling this, let's come under products and create a bill of material. So here you can see already some bill of materials are created. So let me open my wood panel. So you can see my product is wood panel and you can see the number of quantities. Then uh, you can see bill of material type I have selected as subcontracting. So when you select this option, you can add subcontractors for your products. So I have added one subcontractor in Azure India and you can add multiple contractors from here. And then here you can add the components for the product. Apply uh, layer, you can see two components are there. And you can see one component is three quantity and other one is one quantity. So one thing you have to make sure is that when you go to external link of the component, here under inventory, make sure that resupply subcontractor on order, this route is enabled. And when you check for this product also, okay, it might be enabled. Then after that, just save this. And when you open wood panel, Here under purchase, you can see Azure India is a vendor and subcontractor is enabled. Okay. Now, after creating bill of material, let's go to our purchase module and create a purchase order for this product. So from Azure India, we're going to purchase product wood panel and you can see one quantity is added here. So one quantity for one quantity purchase order is created and now confirm this order. After that confirmation, let's go to inventory and here you can see under delivery orders operation, you can see seven waiting. So when you click on this, you can see one operation that is one transfer is waiting. So when you open this, you can see uh, delivery, ad delivery address Azure India. That is components need to be delivered to our subcontractor for manufacturing. So you can see these two components are available and demand is three and one and you can val check availability and validate this. So this can also be seen under operation transfers and here when you view by operation type and you can see for delivery orders for our company San Francisco. You can see one waiting. Okay. So from here, you can directly check availability, check the availability, and then you can validate it. So after validation, when you go back to overview, here you can see for receipts, there is one in ready state. So you can see the contact is Azure India and you can see schedule date. And when you open this, you can find our product under operations. 
wood panel demand one now we can validate this so we can receive the wood panel from azure india that is azure india have manufactured the product wood panel using the components that we have delivered to him so just validate it so the receipt is validated now here we have our valuation so when you click on this you can see this uh, our components and the finished product so you can see finished product negative uh, sorry positive value because we have received one quantity and you can see total value then for components you can see negative quantity this is because we have delivered this uh, components this products to our subcontractor and when you come under product moves also you can see that from subcontracting location to stock one quantity of wood panel is moved and when you check our ply layer you can see three quantities some quantities are moved from stock to subcontracting location so that's how subcontracting is done in odo 14 manufacturing if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any odo implementation or customization in your business drop your request to odo@cyprocess.com